uh, park. Picking up right where we left off, going towards. Man. What the hell? Ooh. The hell? Oh, what the fuck? What the hell? Freaking shock therapy, what the hell? Callum, where are you? Is that you, kid? Is that you over there in the bumper car? Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Are you hiding that? No, you're not. Well, I'll examine the accident report real quick. Police name Francis Dufresne. Time and date of accident. Take a ride on the bumper cars. I'm not taking a ride on shit, man. Time of time and date of accident slash incident, 25th of October, 1976. Job title and department. Laborers working on the crane. Supervisor, lead person, Richard Stapleton. Witness, Lawrence Creed and Michael... Witnesses, Lawrence Creed and Michael Edgeworth. Some badass names. Um... Let's see. Brief description of the accident or incident. Same shit. During the transport of the bumper cars in the arena, one of the straps attaching to the, the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directing. The driver, Francis, was crushed by the weight of the car. Describe any injuries caused. Francis was killed. Okay. Did the injured employee see a doctor? What the hell? Yes. If yes, did you file an employer's portion of a worker's compensation form? Yes. Dog died. How did he go see a doctor? And how did you pay him for it? Supervisor comments. Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. No one but else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. What could have been done to prevent this accident slash incident? Double checking the straps after transit should be mandatory and drug screenings of all drivers. Have the unsafe conditions been corrected? No. Okay. Uh, photocopy. Okay. Additional comments. Um, the local laborers are very superstitious and this hasn't helped. Some of them are refusing to return to work until we have someone from the local church walk the park and exercise the bad spirits. Okay, cool. Ooh! What the hell? Oh, great. Kill me! Come on! Hit me! Hit me! Oh, well. Okay, well, don't do that then, I guess. I guess I'll go investigate the creepy thing because I'm a white person, and that's what we always do in horror shit. For dumb, some stupid reason. Uh, let's see. Can I get through here? No? Cool. Lovely. Um, how do we get in there? Aha! Here it is. Alan, where did you go? Well, screw you. Up the steps I go. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Mm, lovely. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. Mm. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... 
just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. Mm. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. You tell them what you want them, you think they want to hear, or what you know they want to hear. Instead of what you really feel. Also, I don't know why I'm walking through the wilderness. But, cool. That's fine, I guess. Can I turn the brightness down a little bit? It's a little too bright for me. Thought I had the brightnesses down as. There we go. That's better. It's more like it. Don't be afraid. I do like the light rays, though. That's pretty cool. Jump scare in just a little bit. Continually delayed by the competence of the builders. The problem is that they are locals and so they believe a lot of rumors about what old man Henderson used to do here. They grew up on those tales. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against black magic or the black magic. Of course, that is why I chose this site. Over all the other potentials, Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energies, and the thought of all that power dissipating beneath the earth here makes my skin crawl. I called in a few favors back in Brooklyn to get someone in the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. It turns out they do, and it turns out the old man Henderson has some pretty strong connex connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find the piece of the plans I'm, that I am missing. Maybe. Uh, well, I lost sight of him already. Mommy is coming, Lovely. Don't hate that at all. How much time was that? Yeah, I can do a second one for this one. The the car, the bumper car thing was. Um, Stay where you are. Bumper car thing was pretty quick. Decrease speed. Decrease speed. Decrease speed. All right, let me get on the bitch. There we go. Maybe I can see him better from up here. Alrighty. Oh, what the hell? A door would be nice, but you know. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Mm -hmm. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. That's good. He sorted a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. No. I can't tell you if Calm was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but... Then, well, he died. Damn. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Oh, Since fuck. I believe your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. You only together for three months? 
Damn. God, that hurts. I really couldn't imagine what it was like. All the shit she'd have to go through after that, too. Ugh. Alright, let's land this damn thing and hop the fuck out of here. Oh, hey. 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 Hey, you creepy bastard. Increase speed. 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 Oh, the Lovely. Not something I have to worry about anymore because the park's closed. Let's go. Oh man, I thought there was a way out over here. Guess not. Let's go this way. That's getting pretty loud. I guess I'll finish her off. Keep going. Keep speeding up. Come on. Let's go this way. Quick way off, I guess. Don't be afraid. Because we came up over there. I'm assuming that just takes us back to the Octatron. I'm gonna go this way. Do be do be do. I'm gonna go with walking this way, ghost. See where it takes me. Oh, back to okay. That's the opposite. Oh, what the f All right, that's the opposite side of the Octatron. That's gonna be really grating and loud, isn't it? I guess I'll just go ahead and end it here, though. So, thank you all for watching. My name's Admiral Bailey, and I'll catch you all the next time when we're not having to deal with this loud-ass fucking Ferrisville shit. So, bye, everybody.